All right, people. Welcome back. Half fast, Stephen one nine. Uh, today, right now, I went to AutoZone and got a different temperature sending unit. Because the sending unit that that fan came with is not kicking the fan on. Coolant's getting to about 210, 215. And that sending unit's not kicking it on. So I went and bought another sending unit. And it's not kicking it on either. Which is making me wonder if uh, I got it wired wrong. Which I could. I checked... Uh, bunch of uh, wiring schematics it says you want one from the battery one from the ignition or vice versa I guess one from battery or, or ignition um, that's the red black goes to ground fan black goes to ground hmm blue wire is supposed to go to the fan white wire is supposed to go to the sending unit so maybe the white wire is supposed to go to the fan and the blue wire is supposed to go to the sending unit. I don't know. Uh, I'm supposed to come on at 200 or uh, 180 degrees. The fan, I manually powered the fan. The fan spins really slow. Um, so we'll see if it'll even do the job. Uh, but anyway, for the meantime, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this bed off. Okay, I'm going to take the bed off, set it aside, probably set it over here, see if the kid will help me. And uh, then just take this rear axle out. And then when it gets a little cooler... In the afternoon, start uh, welding on it. Um, bought some TIG, TIG rod. Plus all the other rod I already have. So it's just a uh, couple things, couple spots of welding I have to do. Nothing too crazy. Um, but. I want to TIG weld it all. I don't want to flux core or wire MIG it. Which I might have to if I can't get into some spots. So, anyway, uh, if you guys have any ideas, thoughts on this uh, sending unit, you guys let me know in the comments. So, for right now, I'm going to set you guys on a go on the tripod, not the GoPro, and uh, take this bed off. Probably take the fuel lines off or the air lines for the airbags off and uh, take the bed off. I don't know which route I'm going to go, but I'm going to go one of the routes. So I'll be back.
All right, I don't know how far it recorded before the battery died. <sighs> Just got done eating some ice cream. Anyway, got the rear end all tore off. <clears throat> I gotta come in here and cut this here. Cut that little piece off to clear the airbag. I wire brushed everything as best as I could. So I'm gonna come in, weld all this, weld that there, weld this here. This is already welded. Um, weld this one here, <clears throat> and then I think these brackets are already welded. So technically, <clears throat> I thought I was gonna have to do a lot more welding on this rear end, but it turns out I don't have that much to do. And, uh, of course, it's windy, so I probably won't be doing TIG welding. I'm probably just going to use my MIG and weld her down. So, let me get to it. I already started trying to clean some of this up with the grinder. Just this one side. See my little C-notch. C, C notch, C, C notch, ground some of these down, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna have to grind some more, or uh, wire brush, or whatever grind, I'm just using the flap wheel, flap disc, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably just do this side, weld this up here um, <clears throat> I kind of want to weld all this once I grind this side clean and uh, yeah just grind everything I do have to finish TIG welding these um, they are in the spot where they need to be so anywho let me get everything moved out the way and get started on this it's nice and cool right now it's probably about you know, 75 degree and uh, yeah I figure ow, man, what is that just stabbed me in my foot piece of metal um anyway that hurt uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start welding on it because it's nice and cool right now. Um, which is why I like living where I live. Because the cool weather comes in the afternoon. The wind blows all the hot out. <clears throat> um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna start welding. So I'll see you guys on the flip side.
All right, guys. Got the rear end is completely welded. Got my notch, my Buenos notches cut. It's all painted. I'm gonna paint the frame the same color. Once I finish grinding and welding, like in there, underneath on the bottom side of that C notch, I have to weld. I'm gonna try to weld these this back side in here and uh, grind it all and then I'm gonna try to grind cut that off that right in there cut all that off I do think I'm gonna have to if I have room might have to cut underneath that body Maybe not. Maybe I'll just drop the gas tank a little bit lower. Put a spacer between there. Because right now it's... Right now it's a... Uh, kind of a pain to start. So, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, finish grinding and welding this back of this frame here. I'm just going to use the... The... Wire feed because it's windy out here but it's pretty much uh, pretty much going so so good so far did paint the track the bars so I did paint the bars the trailing arms, whatever you want to call these bars, ladder bars, four link bars, painted them. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. That's uh, the rear end's completely done, except for the uh, I got to reroute these uh, brake lines. But I'm going to do that on the truck. And again, here comes the wind. So, anyway, I'm going to go. You guys subscribe. You guys comment. Keep doing what you guys do. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. Alright guys, later.